Hello, my uncle's back in another video. Now, I have it paused right now so I can go over to Team Preview because Doc didn't record that. Now, both of these teams look standard.exe except for the fact that Jake does not have my man Mianfu on deck, which is a bit scary. Instead, he has Timber. I do not fuck with any team that does not have Mianfu because the only skill in this tier is to have a Mianfu on your team and lead it and hit fake out. So, I don't understand why there's no Mianfu on Jake's side. Um, very interesting maneuver right there, but outside of that, both teams look very standardish. Um, there's no not, no real unmons right here. Jake has a nice uh, offense core right here of Wingle, plus Ghastly, plus Timber. All those mons can go in, plus some nice chopping support from Dela in the back. A nice Pharisee to have of some hazards, and a Marini just to sponge some hits from fighting types because those are broken. Now, Trash just has mono standard. He has literally, like, if you, if you like, find any LC team you're builder, I can guarantee you it looks like this. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this is hop right into the game so we have a volibee versus wingle lead now jake can just smash this wingle apart with a z move if it is uh, weak armor it's gonna take a fuck ton it might even topple over so if it's a violet it obviously doesn't topple over it snacks it up for breakfast then revenge kills the wingle i don't think you want to hit this shit hard with a z move the problem is there's no real volibee answer on jake's side he could uh just you turn into uh you turn into pharisee he instead he just goes hard pharisee i guess he doesn't want to risk it being scarf makes sense uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I actually don't want to sack your wingle turn one. Now, Brave Bird doesn't do shit, doesn't do anything. That means it's a Violet Pharisee. So, Stealth Rock do come up onto the Mianfu. Now, this Mianfu can just throw off a knockoff onto Marini for free, making it easier for Diglett to trap. The problem is, um, I mean, it makes it doesn't make it easier for Diglett to trap, <laughs> actually. I don't know what I'm saying. The problem is that he could just U turn out here as well. So, Jake just stays in here, predicting the U turn to come out. Instead, the knockoff comes out, which is a nice mid ground. T Whiff comes out onto the Mianfu, so this man's a bit slower now. Jake can just get up another hazard if he has it here, I guess. Uh, Trash does have a potential fogger in Volibee, but most Volibees don't carry fog. If he does have it, that would be huge for him because he can get off these rocks and potential spikes that might come off here. Um, outside of that, Trash can fire off a U-turn here or a high jump kick if he wants to predict this to stay in and just one-shot it. Jake can go into Ghastly, which is a bit risky because uh, I think it's Life Orb. There's no way it's Z-Move because he has Diglett and Wingle both two very potent Z-Move users that are better than Ghastly at Z-Moving. So it would make more sense for it to be a Life Orb set. So you don't want to switch that hard into a knockoff and just get absolutely destroyed. And knockoff also covers the Marini, so that's definitely a play Trash could make. So the Wingle instead comes in, which yeah, Wingle actually covers uh, all of them. I don't even know I didn't talk about Wingle. Wingle covers every single switch. Plus it takes huge advantage of a potential para full para if trash gets that so now trash can just switch out into he does not have the best switches for this actually he can go to ponder to scare it out if the wingle has protect he can just scout and go for that now if it's not scarf ponyard if it's actually rocks ponyard uh which wouldn't make any sense i was gonna say if it's rocks party he can just rocks on the wingle here on the predicted protect but that doesn't make sense because the rocker is obviously onyx so it's most likely scarf ponyard and just weak armor berry juice wingle the violet man for plus the violet's Fungus plus Z Diglett. It's going to be like cookie cutter sets from what I can see here. It could be something different, but it wouldn't really make too much sense. I guess it could be like Scarf Wingle or Scarf Bullaby plus like a Violet Ponyard, but I don't know. That's like the only thing I can really see. It could also be like some, some like unset on whatever, but you never know. Instead, the um, Diglett actually comes in, which also scares this out. Does about the same thing. Also, this Diglett's a huge, huge threat. I think Jake just switches out to Timber here. If Trash catches that with the EQ, it's going to do a nice fuck ton. but, I mean, Timber's pretty fat, but Diglett's also really strong. He can just hit, I guess he can just hit sub here, just do ease prediction, so he doesn't need to make a prediction. If he just hits sub here, yup, he does just hit sub, and now he even has a sub up, because he can just kill this Pharisee with a ground Z. Um, uh, did he knock off the Pharisee, actually? I think he did knock off the Pharisee, so in that case, EQ might be enough. No, probably not. Actually, Pharisee's pretty fat. Um, I assume Trash is going to calc that right now. Might have a chance to, but you don't want to risk it on a roll and just die to bullet seed. So he might have to waste his Z move here, which definitely sucks for Marini. But um, I guess you you still click it here, because otherwise you have to pussy out and pussy out into like there's no real good switch into this. So I think you still have to Z ground if that's the only thing that kills. If EQ kills, obviously you click that. And if Z ground kills, I think you click that as well, because you still have this uh, still have this pretty scary Diglett in, which can just fire off a fat hit onto something. So. Like, having a Diglett with the sub up is huge this game, so... Because, yeah, like, as you can see, Diglett puts in a whole lot of work, so... I think just hitting Z ground here... Like, it is annoying for Marini, I get that, but... You can always knock the Marini with uh, one of your, like, 7 million knockoff users. <laughs> Dude, look at Trash's team, he has that triple knockoff core. Like, how are you not going to be able to knock off Marini, right? So, I guess you can still knock it off and then kill it with the regular later, unless it's, like, Iron Defense unset. So, yeah, Trash, I guess, is calcing uh, what this damage is all about. 
So like I already said, Trash's team is like mono, <laughs> like mono every LC team ever. Jake, I like Jake's team a lot more because it's a lot more creative. The problem is that, um, like I know HP Fire Abra is a fat unset, but it like shreds through his team. He might have like beat up Diglett because like regular Abra shreds through his team as well. Like Abra plus Magnemite just goes through the six as well. So um, he might have like beat up Diglett to trap Abra potentially. Which I know is kind of a weird set, but uh, it can definitely work on a team like this with all those Psychic Weeks. Also, both Diglett and Wingle do not, do not want to take a Psychic at all. So, it, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for it to be beat up. So, now, Trash is going to fire off a free EQ, get some free damage off. Or he switches into Fungus on the Mock Punch. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say he can switch into Fungus on the Mock Punch, but Jake doesn't have a reason to Mock Punch. He just hits a Drain Punch or he hits a Knock Off. I think if, if Knock Off breaks, you hit Knock Off. And, I, yeah, there's no way it doesn't break. Because Diglett's weak as piss. So Trash does try to go to Fungus here. But yeah, the Drain Punch comes out. So it does work out for him. Uh, no knockoff instead the Drain Punch comes out. Now Trash is in a nice spot here to fire off a free ass Spore onto something. Something is going to go to sleep. If Jake can let this go to sleep and knock off the Fungus in the process, that would be nice for him. He I doesn't really have another Sleep Fodder. Although Timber puts in a lot of work this game. So I don't know if you want to let it go to bed. But I mean it puts in a lot of work if it's like Ice Punch. Because it needs to break past Fungus first to put in the said work. So... If he knocked last turn, that would have been pretty big for him, but unfortunately he drain punched. So I guess he just knocks and lets this go to sleep, or he picks another sleep fodder. I guess he can. He picks Gasly as a sleep fodder, which. Yeah, I guess Gasly doesn't do too much and can get trapped by Ponyard. Dimber definitely puts in more work, so. I guess that does make sense to sack Gasly to sleep. Now you can burn a turn, but you risk Ponyard just coming in and trapping you, and then you have to pick another sleep fodder, so I don't think that's the play. I think the play is either back to Timber or back to Marini. As the Volibee actually comes out, which has yeah, a nice play by Trash because it covers the double to t covers the double to Timber and also covers the Gasly staying in. So nice play by Trash right there, making a mid ground. Now Trash could just fire off a knock if he wants to, but then he risks. Um, he can also fire a Brave Bird to do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah he fires off a Brave Bird. He dies to Ice Punch. He is, um, he is in fact not uh, the Juice. Unless the wait, did he already pop the Juice? Let's see. Um. Yeah, I don't think he popped the juice yet. Nice, <laughs> dude. I have like uh, dementia or whatever. Nice old man seal, only 15 already. Dementia doesn't even remember if the juice already got popped. But no, the juice definitely didn't get popped. So that's just not juice. Uh, also, on a fat onset, any Volibee not berry juice, weak armor, Brave Bird, knock off U turn. Um, what's the last one? I can't remember the last move, but that set is onset. Uh, same with like every single team that doesn't have a Mianfu's on team. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying some random shit at the moment, but yeah, uh, interesting set on the Vullaby, I guess. I mean, it's not that interesting, it's just that Verge is super common at the moment, so. Now Trash can just go out into his counters. Unfortunately, they are a bit low, because if he goes, uh, he can go to Fungus, but he doesn't want Fungus getting knocked. And that also gives him a, gives Jake a free switch into Wingle, which can put in a whole lot of work still. Especially if it is Water Z to nuke the Ponyard. So... I mean, it would make more sense for it to be Berry Juice. He go actually goes to Onyx, which can snack up any hit. This Mach Punch is going to do a lot, but if he's 30 Juice, that's fine. If he's Bo if he's any set, that's fine, actually. Because if he... Wait, if he's... Uh, if he's Thing that puts in a lot of work still, if he's uh, the Weak Armor that puts in a lot of work, only Marini can really eat a hit from that if it ever gets the boost. The problem is this is the only physical attacker left on Jake's team. Unless it's physical Marini, and he, like... But the thing is, physical Marini doesn't even have a move to... Activate weak armor, right? Weak armor is only contact, so gunk shot is in contact. I guess knock off from Marine or something. The EQ comes out. Jake doesn't want to. Jake doesn't want to mock punch. Instead, he just wants to get a free punch to the Wingle. That's the correct play right there. Now he has a free ass scald to just fire off. If it's a Violite, does Onyx eat scald? I don't think so. See now, <laughs> this is this is where my newbery comes out. Uh, now in actual LC games, I just hit up the calculator for every single thing because I'm not too sure. Like I assume it kills because it's quite effective, but yeah, because, like, Wingle kills everything, but it's not even that strong. I guess for LC standards, it is pretty strong. So, I, I would assume a quad effective stab move would kill. Trash decides to throw out his Mianfu. Because I guess it is pretty expendable at the moment. Now, this dies to any move. As he, as he actually comes out, because he doesn't want to miss, which is a play I have a... Mm, I was going to say, it's a play I heavily disagree with, but... No, actually, that, that play is fine, because he doesn't need Z for anything else. I was thinking he needed Z for Ponyer, but that's only Water Z. Yeah, never mind, that play was alright, because you don't want to miss, obviously. So now Trash just switches into Ponyard if that's Scarf, I guess. Ponyard actually puts in a lot of work still. Or he switches into Diggly. Yeah, both force it out. Force this thing out. And Diggly also doesn't have switches. Yeah, but Diggly is definitely better than Ponyard. Nice unseal. But now... You can sub the East prediction for sure. I think sub is the f sub is the correct play. Yeah. Uh, I disagree with that play. 
Like, I don't think you would throw out your... Like, look at Wingle. Look at Trash's team. Like, Wingle still just goes in. This, this kills all three. I mean, it doesn't kill Ponyard, but it does a shit to the Ponyard. Potentially burns it. Weakens it. And I disagree with this, because this is a potential speed die. Uh, no, it isn't a speed die, because I assume this would be Scarf taking on Jake's side. Especially how he switched it in. Yeah, that's definitely Scarf. So, Trash is going to topple over here. So, damn, I don't know if I disagree with not subbing. I think sub was the correct play. Uh, now Fungus comes in, though. Fungus is a th still a threat. The Marini can come in for pretty much free here. And Trash is in a shit position at the moment. Because uh, Gigadrain comes in. Like, he has to go to Ponyard, because that's the only man that can even do anything to this Marini. I guess he can he can wait until the Marini hits Recover and then go Ponyard, obviously. But Scald's going to Scald's gonna do a lo lot of damage if that is Scarf. And uh, it's Iron Defense, actually, which really helps out versus Onyx as well. Like, nothing even breaks this. <laughs> Dude, doesn't Marini just win this? Um, I mean, it doesn't. It obviously doesn't really win. It, it can burn the Fungus, though, which is really annoying. It doesn't have knockoff because it is Iron Defense. I already said that earlier, that it's kind of an unset, but it's definitely really cool. I tried to record a game before this, but I fucked up my audio settings. So, uh, if I fuck up my audio settings on this one, by the way, I'm going to toss my life out the window. But um, the recovery is going to come out here. I assume it's going to be a knockoff as... Um, yeah, the assume is going to be a knockoff getting tossed off. <laughs> I just still have my PS4 open <laughs> with Fortnite, and uh, someone just joined my lobby, all right? That distracted me for a little bit. But I assume a knockoff is going to get tossed off. Doesn't, it's not going to do shit, but it is going to remove the Avila, which makes it easier for Fungus to 1v1 this. The Skull is going to come off from Jake always, which is going to have a chance to burn this. As you actually Iron Defense is up again, disagree with that play. Completely disagree with that play. I don't know why you don't just Skull. Like, you have a chance to... Like, I don't get what, I don't get what that play accomplished. I really don't get what that accomplished. I think just throwing off a skull. It's Sludge Wave, actually, over Sludge Bomb, which is... <laughs> that's a set I disagree with, but... Um, yeah, that's a set I heavily disagree with, actually. It probably gets, a ca it probably gets like, some kill, whatever, right? But, yeah, I don't get why you Iron Defense up, because you don't beat Fungus 1v1, and you... Like, a chance to Skull Burn Ponyard is great. Especially because then, like, if you Skull Burn Ponyard, Wingle has a so... Has such a big chance to win this. Yeah, I don't... I definitely heavily disagree with that Iron Defense play. I uh, also disagree with Sludge Wave, but it probably gets, like, some KO, like, to a KO, obviously. Marini isn't strong enough to get KOs, I guess. It might get, like, some, it might be, like, better versus, like, Snivy or some shit like that. Maybe better versus, like, some uh, random Pokemon. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it does, and until I know what it does, it's an onset. <laughs> That's the, the golden rule. Now, uh, Jake's just trying to get that burn, but the life, life is just not letting him, which uh, is very poetic, but life to Fungus, just not letting him get the burn. Fungus is a bit cold today. So, Doc hovering over here, seeing 10 recovers left, seeing uh, PP, uh, uh, offensive PP on, offensive PP on Marini doesn't matter. We see a Sludge Bomb, we see Sludge Bombs, I think Doc said 15, uh, when it hovered over, and on the Fungus, it has 10 Giga Drains left, so this is going to be a nice PP stall war. Absolutely love it. See, now, LC is famous, or infamous more, for Fungus versus Fungus Wars. Those are the pinnacle of LC. Now, this is even better, dude. How much, like, this is an honest question. How much do you guys, if you love this, um, leave a like. If you don't love this, also leave a like, by the way. But, um, uh, this just, like, oh, this makes me so happy to watch. Like, I just, oh, mm, this is just so, so good to watch. Just to see the two just fab poison type just duke it out and just see that PP slowly deplete. Like, nothing makes me happier in this entire shithole of a game. Mmm, Doc, yeah, show me that seven recover PP. Bop, throw that PP out the window. It's only seven left. The so Doc skips a turn. Uh, I don't know if that really mattered. So, Recover PP goes down to 6. Ooh, Jake. You have to watch out there, buddy. <laughs> this is, like, top one most cringy things alive, dude. The poison fight with my awful commentary. So, Giga Drain gets a mineral right there, which sucks for trash, but you're bound to get some minerals. Doc skipping through these turns because they're clicking ultra fast because they don't need to. So, only 6 Giga Drain PP left versus what I think is 6 Recover PP, right, Doc? Doc, help me out right there. Hover over. Buddy, be a good dog for me. No, unfortunately he doesn't. But I think it's 6 or 5 recover PP. Skull gets thrown off, doesn't do too much. Sludge Bomb gets thrown off. Trash wins in the long run, though, by Sludge Bombing. But this Fungus is going to get depleted of all PP, so... <laughs> dude, this game is top 1. Why is no one in Smock Tours chat? Why are they talking about S-Tours, dude? Oh, is that S-Tours? Oh, no, it's probably not S-Tours. Never mind, just some random games going on. Um, they're actually... Marini is unviable trap by Diglett. Serene Gray, shut up. Um, so, these, these mans are not even talking about this high entertainment quality game but yeah Serene Grizz is a noob I just want you guys to all know that mm. you might say he's winning open that's a lie right there um, complete fabricated lie set up by the LC community that Serene Grizz is winning open that's a complete lie actually I don't know if he already won open 
but I don't know. If you won, congrats, my man. <laughs> I probably already congratulated you on that if you did win. But I think you only won one game, right? I'm, I'm not too sure. Not too big on LC Open. <laughs> oh, an L3 fan who doesn't know what, who wins LC Open. You're such a noob. Um, Doc, be, be a good buddy for me and just hover over the PP, but... Um, that doesn't really matter too much because yeah, ooh, the goat one recovered PP left against one Giga Drain or two Giga Drains. Oh, three Giga Drains. Oh, on man, three Sludge Bombs as well, but also three Giga Drains. So this Fung is actually gonna have a few PP left still. He needs to preserve some Giga Drain PP. He needs to definitely preserve one for Diglett. Um, he has two Sludge Bombs to waste and two Giga Drains to waste. Versus Marines, one recover. So Sludge Bomb is gonna come out here, put him a bit low. He can Giga Drain here, to be honest. Oh, no, there's still one recover, right? He can still waste one Giga Drain. The problem is that Jay can outplay that one Giga Drain. Make it, make, yeah, this is annoying. I think he wants two Giga Drains, but he can't. Like, it's like that annoying kid in the store that, like, wants his, like, he wants his new Lego uh, Star Wars Darth Vader Death Star Ultra Edition play thing. But he, does, he just can't get it. It's just how life works, and that's just... <laughs> <laughs> the amount of bullshit I spew is intense, but um, yeah, Trash is gonna have to waste at least one more Giga Drain. I think he needs to waste two more, to be honest. I think he does. Uh, I don't know. It depends on the rolls that he gets. He might need to waste every single attacking PP, and then he just gets trapped by Diglett. Uh, let's see what's actually gonna happen. This game, All right? One. Uh, no, that's definitely out of Sludge Bomb range. He needs to waste every attacking PP. Well, he's still he's still gonna have one Sludge Bomb left, right? But outside of that, he's gonna waste every attacking PP. Which is interesting because that means uh, Diglett is just going to go in, right? It's Scarf Diglett revealed already. So, doesn't Scarf Diglett just like clean up everything? Uh, Onyx, no, never mind. Onyx snacks one, I think. So, Trash is going to have to be forced to Sludge Bomb here. Oh, I mean Giga Drain here. Why would you Sludge Bomb unplay? Yeah, he is forced to Giga Drain here. Jake, if he's the GOAT, um, switches out here. He switches out to Ghastly to waste that PP. I think that's a play, actually. You switch out to Ghastly to waste that Giga Drain PP. And save Marini as fodder, because fodder is still pretty nice this game. I think you, yeah, I think you go Ghastly to waste the PP, and then go back to Marini. I think that's the play. Yeah, that 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 would be a play of kings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> I've established what Jake's play is. You go Ghastly here, then double back. If Trash is the ultimate king pin, he goes pondered on that play, but that just risks getting skull burned if Jake stays in. So that would be a huge unplay, but it would catch the Ghastly, I guess. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think Ghastly first into um into into back to marini i think that's the play the series of plays you can make if you're jake that whew, those are some bars dude eminem i'm coming for you next white rapper feud part two but um yeah trash is thinking about his play this man <laughs> this man really has his button over the pawn yard he's like mm, should i do it should i do it to him if he gets that play right it's like over man because this um fat fungus can still put someone to bed so i guess like it, it doesn't put sub Diglett to bed but it's not sub because it's Scarf. What am I saying? Um, yeah, so uh, Scarf Diglett just kind of nukes. <laughs> like, at this point, it kind of goes in. I think... Uh, I don't know if Trash still has a way out. Yup, go, go, Jake. Yes, he gets to the play right. Yes, I'm the GOAT. <laughs> when my play works. So the Kingpin Jake decides to make that play. Now he can even go Diglett if he wants to. The problem is if he gets poisoned, that really sucks for him. But he can even go Diglett instead of Marini if he really wants to. But I think Marini is just a safer play. The thing is, nothing wants to switch in on Marini, so... I think what... Oh, okay, 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 this might be the play. You go Diglett first. You go Diglett here, right? On the Sludge Bomb, slash the double, right? That covers both, in a way. It covers the pawn, at least, right? Then, if the Fungus stays in, you take the Sludge Bomb, you pray to God you don't get poisoned, then you go Marini, the Fungus can't switch out, then you get a free switch to Marini, and you just start spamming Scald. The only problem with that strategy is I don't know how many Scalds he has left, and... It, shouldn't be too much actually it should be like seven or something i don't know if you can beat fungus 1v1 with that um because like this is a fat fucker it's gonna eat a lot of attacks but I, that might be a series of plays here if he wants to get in his marini for free because otherwise he can get doubled on which would really suck for him because he doesn't have pp anymore i guess if you double the diglet on the onyx that doesn't really cover that well it covers that in a way in a weird way um hmm this is still going to be an interesting game. Uh, <laughs> I like how it just was like stall for like a lot of turns. Yep, he does go Diglett. Dude, Jake making all my plays. Dude, dude, the GOAT. The GOAT. Dude, he goes to Diglett. Catches the Ponyard double like a complete kingpin, right? Now, does EQ kill? I think like Ponyard isn't that fat. I think EQ kills Scarf Pawn. And this, there's no way this isn't Scarf Pawn, right? So, 
You should just catch this. If it's Sucker Scarf, I don't know if that kills Diglett. These are some calcs that I actually uh, am unaware of knowing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I should actually pause the video and... Um, should I actually pause the video and calc uh, to provide better commentary. But we, del we deliver no quality content at all here on the uh, Doc Rich YouTube channel. So, that's just going to be how it be like that sometimes. So, the Sucker does come out, does one-shot it. So, Scarf Sucker, holy shit, that's such a godsend, dude. Only a true kingpin would use Scarf Sucker. Now, this Marini uh, can still Iron Defense up. I was going to say this Marini ha only has attacking moves, so he gets a free Sucker on this, but it can still Iron Defense. And that's, I think, what he's going to do. And now, uh, does this... It doesn't win, right? But it still puts in a lot of work. Um, let's see this. Trash can go Onyx here on the predicted Iron Defense. Hmm. This is still going to be an interesting game because uh, of Jake's... God plays, I guess. Um, he goes for the SD, showing that he's not Scarf. Oh, Goder. Oh, this just wins. Yeah, this is winner, man. So, yeah, right. Never mind. <laughs> so, it wasn't Scarf uh, all along. So, that means it was probably Scarf Volibee then. Um, I would have to think back like 7 million turns. What did he switch in? He, switch, he Brave Birded this. He, yeah, he Brave Birded the uh, Fire Thorn. He Brave Birded the Timber and then died to Dry Ice Punch. So I think it was Scarf Vullaby, yeah. So I said at the start, it could be either Scarf Pioneer plus Weak Armor Juice Vullaby. But yeah, it's it's this set, apparently. So I thought it was I thought it was still Scarf. <laughs> My bad for that. Um, for that kind of small fuck up, but I don't know how I was supposed to know. Like, I didn't, like, know this wasn't Scarf. It, it, like, it obviously makes the most sense. You go with the sets that make the most sense. That's just how I narrate. Like, you go, I mean, that's not even what makes the most sense. Just what's most common. But yeah, this uh, Pioneer just wins. Wastes all the interesting things this game still had going like if this was scarf pawn it would have been a lot more interesting but of course these noobs don't run that shit <sighs> interesting so yeah i hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed my pretty nasty commentary this game i had to make something work with when the stall game um was there um yeah that was definitely something <laughs> like i don't know if you sat through the entirety of the stall scene you really are a trooper and troopers get invited to my channel where mediocre content gets posted like uh, wait, can this actually still win? Wait, this can. Wait, never mind. This game, this game ain't over yet. Wait, <laughs> I, was, I was already doing my outro, but this game ain't far from over. Wait, uh, Jay can still do this actually. Oh wait, that's pretty goady. Uh, he tries to attack. Uh, ooh, on the soccer goat, goat. Ooh, attacks up again. There's a free attack. This time you knock. Now it now back to 50-50 city. Mm. Tries to attack again, gets cacked. Easy money. All right, so tries to cack that game up. Um. Wasn't that game over anyway? Because Skull doesn't kill. So, like, I guess if you Skull, Skull burns and then eats. Uh, that, that was, like, Jake's only shot. But that was the game uh, for more mediocre content. Posted one or twice, once or twice a week on my channel. Because I'm lazy. Link in the description. Subscribe to Doc Rich. Because, um, yeah, he needs the money in it. Like, uh, he, oh, I was going to say he needs the money to buy a new PC. Which is what I, he always says. But he already got a new PC. The fucking rich fucker. Imagine having money. Could not be me. Good day.